why are reserves and resources important? And who are they important to? Well, reserves are basically your bank account. You like to know what's in there, and you like to know what's coming out every day. Uh, the challenge in reserves is, as you'll see as we progress, is you're never sure exactly what is down there when you start. You know what's coming out every day if you measure it, but you're not exactly sure what's there in the beginning. And that's what we call the uncertainty. This stuff's important to company managers, uh, exploration and production companies. It's important for them for budgets, staffing, field of abandonment, and planning. And I remember as far, not that far back in 1980, a major company in the U.S. I worked for, or Canada at that time, didn't have a very mature system of reserves. And they did an audit of all their divisions once and found one division that its reserves were overstated by about 60%. So they, they fixed that and several careers disappeared. So it became obvious that even in the very experienced operating companies, they didn't have a system for managing the resources and reserves very well. If you're in the merger and acquisition game, if you're going to buy or sell reserves, or assets more to the point, be it the fact if they've got discoveries or potential prospects, you need to know an idea what the reserves are and the resources, so you can put a value to it, so you know how much you want to offer for it, or how much you're willing to sell it for. And it's quite amazing, uh, there can be a huge spread between the, the vendor's expectations and, and the buyer's willingness to pay. And we do a lot of that sort of work and it, it, it's crucial. Independent investors, they do need to be, in this day and age, especially with the speed of transactions, the speed of information, you need to be an informed investor. Things happen very quickly on the stock markets, companies react very quickly, and um, the more informed you are, the better investment decisions you'll make. Doesn't mean you'll make the right ones. Some will be good, some will be bad, but you'll at least understand the investment you're making. And I think we all work too hard to, uh, to not make smart investment decisions. Anybody who lends money, banks, private lenders, underwriters, needs to understand the risks associated with what they're doing. And of course, all regulators. Uh, such as the SGX and all the other exchanges, or countries that have reserves or resources, that they need to know what they have. It's the future of many countries. Uh, Indonesia is a key example. It's very important to them and always has been. So why is standardization important? Well, if you go back 100 years, there was no standardization. It was innuendo. It was rumor, the thing on the left there. Boys who make money, struck oil, the boy who made a million. It's just to, to make, get interest. There was not an informed decision there. Uh, the picture on the right is the well in Indonesia, Telaga Sayad. That was the discovery well, really, that caused or uh, resulted in the formation of Royal Dutch Shell. That was a huge event in the oil industry. Um, if you had something that big now, it would be phenomenal success for the company who drilled it. A couple in Calgary, or in southern Canada, uh, just around the start of World War I, you can see just uh, on the right there, somebody's trying to sell shares, they're going to sell acreage, Acme Oil and Gas. It's just a little company, Adenac Oil Company, that's Canada spelled backwards. They weren't what you call experienced investors or promoters, they were just promoting it. Anyone buying? Uh, was clearly just a, a wild guess if they would make any money. And this one in Calgary, same thing. This guy's selling stocks. Um, you could also get a shoe shine at the other one. And this guy in the lower left, he's on his horse, he's heading out of town. I don't think he liked what he was hearing. But he was sort of guessing. I don't think he was informed, but he was guessing. And it, the industry matured. Those are just examples I found in books. To the present day where stock market press releases are the thing that prompts stock exchange activity, buying and selling. And these are two real examples. The first one is the upper one where a company announced what we call prospective resources, which I'll uh, allude to later based on an independent report. It caused their stock to jump quite a bit in a short period of time. The earlier ramp up was other speculation. The lower one was the company announced a press release on the reserves right down, and their stock jumped, dropped significantly in 24 hours. 
and has con continued to fall. So it's really important that these companies accurately measure the reserves and resources or calculate them. And most exchanges now have continuous disclosure. So the investor is allowed to make timely decisions on his investment por portfolio. But he has to, has to know a certain amount about the game before he can make those informed decisions. And I think that's what it's all about.